Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on Elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the endgame. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Welcome everyone to episode 42. The first task of the episode is already a boss task. We have to kill some grotesque guardians again. I think I'll do three just because it takes a lot of resources for me to get there. Um, a lot of prayer pots and a lot of sharks and I don't have that many anymore. Yo, I'm that painful. Let me give that. Back. Okay, there's the first kill of the grotesque guardians. Any good loot? Five minute kill. Oh my god. These are... I'm struggling bad, lads. Rune bars? You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oops, I forgot to record my second kill. <laughs> there it is. One more to go. Sorry, I was too invested in another video. Kill number three coming up. Four minutes 35. That's not too bad, to be honest. And we got 233 coal and two brews. Yo, that might actually be clutch if we ever go to do Jad. That's pretty sick. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's pick up these rune arrows because um, they're pretty valuable. All right, next task. And here's the first level of the episode, 89 strength. We're getting closer to our first 90 stat on the account. I'm thinking of switching over to defense now. Uh, try and get these two up to 80, maybe. Yeah, let's try and get both of them to 80 because I'm going to need it if I want to complete some more bossing. All right, so for the millionth time, I forgot my rock hammer. So I came to the conclusion it's best for me to just unlock the gargoyle smasher reward from the slayer shop. <laughs> there we go. Get out of here. All right, comments, calm down. I'm an idiot. I know. Apparently, you still need the rock hammer. Oh, my. Why is that a thing? I don't understand how the reward is not just not bring a rock hammer. You got the gargoyle smasher thing, so you don't need the rock hammer anymore. Why is that not a thing? I am kind of salty right now. I thought I could free up an inventory slot. And uh, no. I still need to bring that stupid rock hammer. And now I have 120 points less. This is bullshit. My first marble gargoyle. What are we getting? Oh, a clue scroll heart and the room plate legs? I'm not complaining about that. Not bad. Yo, I've never done one of these marble gargoyles, and that was actually pretty spicy with the dodging of the mage attacks and stuff. All right, lads, it's that time again. Taking a bit of a slayered break right now with five heart clue caskets. Just like last episode, I'm going to stack them up five by five and see what we can get. We haven't gotten any uniques except for the rune T plate body, I believe, in the last episode. So I'm due to something. Right? The green dragon mask. All right. Well, <laughs> that's a unique. That's a unique. That's good. Let me check that. Let me verify. Yeah, we got the red and the green one now. That's beautiful. I'm actually quite glad with that. But let's open the four others too. Boom. Best control. All right. I'll, do, I'll take it. I'll take it. <gasps> Guthix played body. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, double unique. Oh, this is gonna, this is a great start for the episode. A Guthix plate body, we got the plate legs, and we have the helmet. Do we have the shield? We do not. We almost have full Guthix. That's pretty sick. And I think we got all the plate bodies. Bandos, Armadil, Ancient, Saradomen. Oh, we just need a Zami one. Zami and G. That's it. All right, two more. That is unfortunately not a unique, but it is a clue unique, but not one for me. I already have that. And pest control teleports. And another ancient. Yo, except for, I think every single casket had a clue scroll unique in there. Holy shit. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, first Slayer level of the episode, and I missed it. We are actually really debating warding in the chat. Uh, by the time this video goes up, it probably has pulled or has paused or has not paused. So, oh my god, I am actually way too deep rooted into this discussion, the warding discussion, so it's weird to make a video before the poll uh, results are in. Most of you guys already know the answer probably when this video is up, so I'm just gonna say it. Warden has to pass. If it's not, I'm gonna be really salty next week. <laughs> Alright, I have a good feeling about this one. Cool thing about the next defense level is it'll actually give me a combat level. This is task number 259, I believe. I'm gonna do my 260th at Konar, and after that, I'm never gonna have to return back to Neve, because we're going over to Konar, uh, uh, to Duradel. I'm <laughs> sorry. Because we're going over to Duradel after that, so that's gonna be really nice. This is gonna be my last Neve task for a while, unless Duradel is like really bad, but I imagine it's not, right? 31k more defense XP. I'll see you guys at 73. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> lads, I got 73 defense. Uh, <laughs> so. That means 100 combat 
which is absolutely beautiful. I gotta watch my flicks here. Which means after this task, we are not going to go back to Neve, and then we're going to Konar and get our first Duradel task. This is pretty, uh... Pretty interesting. For my 260th task, Konar asked me to kill the giant mole. Now, <laughs> I'm actually pretty hyped to do this boss, but I don't know how long he's going to take because he keeps disappearing and running all of the place, right? So, I would put about 20 or something, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take. And I want to grind Slayer as quick as possible, but to just get a taste of him, I'll do 5, right? So, I'll see you guys at the mole. And 5 kills, maybe get a pet? You never know. Where do I find this guy? So apparently some guy is already killing it here. By the way, I'm hopping to world 360 right now because that is the main world for our clan chat. If you're not in the clan chat, hey, what are you doing? Look at that. Look how many people there are in, there are in 360. It's beautiful. Right, Mr. Mole, where the hell are you? I warn, this is the outfit, by the way. As much graceful as I could find. I'm going to need my run and my strength bonus to hit as much as I can. Hopefully this is not going to take too long, but well, let's see. There he is. Let's see how fast he hops, actually. There he goes. First hop. Not too Oh, there he is already. Hey, not too bad. Oh, one more hit. Come on, get him out of here. There he is, the first kill, 215 points. This is actually not going to be as bad to kill five. I might actually, when I get it again, get a couple more kills. There we go. Pet, please. Wow. Seven death runes. For running around for like five minutes. And there we go, the last mole kill with 100 Ulogs, not bad. Now let's get to Duradel, a new Slayer monster. And hopefully get Cave Horrors, please. Bo -bo 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 boys I hope you're ready, because we're about to get our very first Duradel task. I'm hoping for Cave Horrors, I still need that Slayer helmet. Germs live in the chat already got it uh, after 2,100 kills, so I hope I'm not going to go that dry. But uh, please, Duradel. 141 Trolls, I uh, don't really want to do that, but it's a great task, so... Okay, little change of plans. Uh, I'm going to spam Vanaka for a little bit because I can't deal with this goddamn Mithril Defender. We just complete the Trolls task. We've done 87k XP today. But first I want to get some Hill Giants, I want to get some Cyclopses, and I want to get this goddamn Rune Defender at least. So I'm just going to spam. I have 957 points. Let's get this goddamn Rune Defender finally. And then I was on Discord with a couple mates and they dared me to open a casket on the drop of a song. And it ended up being my best hard casket ever, I think. Hard clue, fuck it. BAM! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Rune Defender Ornament Kit and an Ancient Sky Shield. Yeah, still Nerdgasm over good clues, lads. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, finally! <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. First one is in. Addy Defender. Hoppa. Rune Defender! It's so we finally got the rune defender. Holy shit. How long have we been grinding for that? And we actually got it really quickly too. We still have 60 Cyclopses left. We got the adamant and the rune within 32 kills. Holy shit. So I might actually give it a shot for the dragon defender. But first, what we just got, the rune defender ornament kit. Let me check that out because I have no idea what that looks like. Let's use it. Oh my god, is it actually gold? Oh my god, that is so sick. All right, let's head downstairs. I don't even know where that is and try and get that Dragon Defender. Oh, that'd be so sick if we could get that. You're actually kidding me that I cannot join with the Rune Defender T. So I just saw this dismantle option. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my ornament kit. Okay, it doesn't. We're good, we're good. There it is. Oh my god, that actually scared the shit out of me. Unfortunately, no Dragon Defender this trip. We did get a tooth half of a key though, which is more rare than a Dragon Defender, need I remind you. But after that, we went back to Duradel and got another Grotesque Guardian task. So yeah, I got Grotesque Guardians again for the second time today. Should be able to get a range level here. Yeah, like in a couple seconds, should be able to get it. There we go. 81 range. Not bad, not bad. There we go. That is kill number one new personal best. No, it's not. Not at all, by the way. Runite ores, five of them. That is not too bad. That's not too bad. Something did not beat the personal best, unfortunately. Did we get something... Rune plate legs? You know what? I'll take it. Lost one. I'm finally starting to get better at these, and I think this might actually be a record. This is going to be around, I'm going to say, 4 minutes and 6 seconds. Watch me. 4 minutes 6. Come on, let's go. What? It was 5 minutes 19? Oh, that's sad. 4 mushroom potatoes. That is not... not great. Let's go back to Konar. <laughs> Boys, it's time again. I only have two caskets this time, but I can't wait. I, uh, I'm deep in the Slayer grind. I'm slaying. I've got the momentum going, so I'm feeling these two. And you guys know why? Because it's going to be great. You know, it's not bad, right? But this one is the big one. Decent alcohols. You know what? I'll take it. The previous one was incredible. Let me take a quick look at that again. Look at this thing. Oh my god. 
That's legit the only gilded item I won. I'm happy with this. I don't need any gilded items anymore. This is amazing. Look at it. I swear I didn't miss it. I swear I didn't miss it. I was paying full attention, but my recording screwed up. That's what happened. 75 defense, boys. Uh, I think I'm going to go for 80 and then go maining on strength. Because I'm using strength as my crush alternative uh, for gargoyles anyway. So eventually I will have 90 strength just uh, by doing gargoyle tasks. So I might as well just train defense and attack to 80. When I'm doing boss task, I'll need it because, yeah, the bosses are pretty difficult. So I want to be as boss ready as I can. So I want to get 80, 80 and then 99 strength. 62k left till 80 slayer. And then we're going to go and try... For the very first time, this Dragon Boot grind. Hopefully we get it at the first try. And you know what I'm going to do for it. Going into Puro Puro, grabbing a bunch of Eclectic Implings, getting some Wild Pies, and we're going in. So I guess I'll see you guys at AD Slayer. Unless we get an insane superior that'll drop us an Eternal Gem. Because I, I really want an Eternal Gem to be honest. Right, so it's about time that I open my cask. Because as you can see in my bank, I have so much goddamn shit. I got one medium clue, two hard clues, 13 beginner clues, and eight easy clues. Let's start with the beginner clues. Let's just do them... Um, in order, right? So, beginner clues. One staff of water, absolute. I just want one unique. Out of all these, it's, that's not even... I'm not asking too much, right? Please? Something. Holy shit, these beginner clues. Legit, guys, if you're ever thinking... No, I already have goddamn bare feet. If, if you're ever thinking of doing elite clues for money making, stop right now, turn around, go pick up some flax. Some demon feet, I already got that too. Got... I think I need only five more things from the beginner collection log, and that is not the bare feet or the demon feet. And again, all right, bare feet. You can fix, you know, f How many bare feet do I have? Five. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go into the easy clues. By the way, I killed a lot of goblins for this, so this better be worth it. The only thing I still want from easy clues is actually the chef's hat or the rainbow. Oh, ooh, gothic's rope legs. That might actually be a unique. Holy shit! From easy clues, really? Let's see. Yes, that's absolutely beautiful, Zamorak Page. That was actually worth a lot. Okay, three more easy clue caskets. What? What? Wait, what? Studded Chaps T. Holy shit. Okay, that was also unique for some reason. That doesn't look good, though. And the last easy clue. Some charged scrolls. All right, I'll use those. I'll use those. That's good. That was actually a good easy opening. All right, but now for the big boys. One medium clue casket, two hard clue caskets. Let's get those spike manacles. <sighs> Shazian Banner, I already have that. That's unfortunate. That could have been a very nice unique. Two more hard clue caskets, lads. This is the moment. This is the moment where we get the uh, the gilded legs. Watch it. Watch it. Zamrak plate skirt. I think I already have that, and a lot of alchemals. Okay. In general, two new uniques out of what was it? Twenty one clues. Kind of happy about that. And those were actually my nine hundred thirty fourth clues. We're getting really close to that 1,000. With possibly the most beautiful task in existence, welcome everyone to my 80 Slayer... Come on, the timing could have been a little bit better. Welcome to my 80 Slayer party, lads. There we go, 80 Slayer. We should have gotten that like 15 episodes ago when we needed the neck reels. But hey, we got it now and we are only three levels away from the spiritual mages who can drop uh, dragon boots. We have a couple wild pies still in the bank. What do you guys think of us trying this? Just to end off the episode, let's try and get these dragon boots already. I think I have around seven wild pies. Let me finish this task and let's get into it. We have a 1 out of 128 chance. Lads, without further ado, let's do this. Run, you fool! They don't have that much HP, which is good, that's one. Imagine getting that dragon. Boots, first try, how sick would that be? This is a journey of one man being desperate for these dragon boots. This is what one desperate gamer looks like, lads. And it might not even happen this episode, but at least we tried. Come on, one more before it drops down? Nope. Next one. Okay, after this kill, we are halfway on the drop rate. 64 out of 128. Just gotta get a little lucky. Just a little. We're halfway now. We still have three wild pies, which should be about 25 kills, something like that. Hopefully we get lucky. Oh my god, no way! Yes! Boys! Boys! We're done! 87 kills. 87 Spiritual I'm, I'm speechless because I didn't expect to hit it this episode. 
I was just going in just to try it because next episode I wanted to do a lot of medium clues for wild pie. I, 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 my whole planning is fucked up now. <laughs> Holy shit, we got the dragon boots. Well, that was unexpected. I guess next episode you'll see me going back to elite clues. This is the clue we needed the dragon boots for, by the way, if you didn't remember. And so our journey continues. Next episode we'll keep doing barrows, we'll complete this elite clue, and we might venture into the Forthos dungeon to try and get some elite or hard clues from the new spider boss. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.